Went out on a walk, there rose such a clatter. I sprang from the couch to see what's the matter. Away to the doorway, I bolted in a flash. I started to shudder, and the bow fell with a crash. How would you like to make a ghostly head transparently float in the middle of the air? It'll freak the neighbors out. It's by far the coolest effect you can do. This trick requires a DVD player, a TV set, a sheet of clear rigid plastic or plexiglass, and a little imagination. You'll also need an image of a head surrounded in darkness. We've provided singing and talking heads as scareware on this very DVD. They can be accessed by clicking on the extra stuff located on the main menu. Happy Halloween! If you'd like a little more variety, you can purchase Big Screen TV Volumes 1, 2, or 3, or the Halloween Scarols DVD. See all of these in the Extras section under More Spooktacular Products. To get started, you'll need to adjust your TV. The area on your television screen surrounding the face must be totally black. To do this, you must adjust the brightness and contrast on your TV. First, adjust the brightness. Turn it down so the part of the screen with no image has no light at all in it. Don't be surprised if you have to take it all the way down. There should not be any light coming from the area around the face. Next, adjust the contrast. Turn it up to make the head as bright as possible without distorting the picture. The objective here is to get a bright head floating over a black background. Brightness down and contrast or picture up will give you the best results. The object is simply to reflect the image of the face from the TV into the plastic sheet. First, pick a place in the house to do this illusion. The best place is going to be a window somewhere. Here, we've chosen a window in the garage. Once you have the location, take the TV and lay it horizontally, flat on its back. Use something to secure the TV in place. Sticking it in a nice chest, or in a bin, or a box, or on a suitcase, or crate will work well. Make sure the bottom of the TV edge is farthest away from where people will view the trick, and make sure whatever you use to prop up the TV is secure and sturdy. Smaller TVs are easier to work with. You may also consider getting a cheap old TV at a thrift store. Just make sure you can hook up a DVD player to the TV. Once the TV is in place, the plastic sheet must be placed diagonally over the TV. The bottom of the plastic must rest on or near the bottom edge of the TV set. The top of the plastic will be up diagonally across from the bottom. Here, we've taped the bottom edge of the plastic to a table. The piece of plastic that you use must be a little wider than your TV set and probably about twice as high. You'll want to cover the length of the window. In this case, our plastic is a little long, so it wants to bow down in the middle. We're going to fix that by hanging the middle of it from the ceiling. We drill a hole in the edge of the plastic and secure a wire to it. This will help keep it from bowing. You may also purchase inexpensive aluminum channel and place the plexiglass edge inside it. Next, make sure the DVD player is attached to the TV set, plug it in, and play the head. Now comes the fun part. You'll want to create a little scene over which the head will be floating. You need this to show off the transparency of the effect. In this case, we're using our pumpkin head image from the Halloween Scarols DVD, so we're going to decorate a pumpkin patch in the background. We've set up a table and we're placing several fake pumpkins on old paint cans at various levels. We're also using some scenery behind the pumpkins. Basically what you're doing is just setting up a fun scene. We're then going to light it with an orange floodlight And if you have a stereo with external speakers, you may want to place the speakers outside the window. You can certainly do any type of decoration that you want. Any type of scene will work. This is a little more cute, but you can go scary or more haunting. 